All right, error number six now is opening the glove packet, uh, opening the gloves that are inside of the glove packet. And the gloves in the glove packet sit like this inside the glove packet. So this folded edge that's here is the edge that would actually touch the skin. All right, the edge here or this area here is the area that would touch the skin. Inside of here, all the way down underneath, is considered the sterile part. And of course, all of this is considered the sterile part. So we want to make sure the bare hands only touch this part here, and the sterile gloves will only touch this portion here. So the gloves are open. So what I want to do is place the gloves on my hand. Now, according to the checklist, the checklist says put on or don the dominant hand. I am right handed, so I'm going to take my left hand and touch this folded portion right here with my bare left hand because this is the inside of the glove that will touch my skin. When you put the glove on, put the glove on so that you're putting it on with your dominant hand supinated supinated. So grab right here because this is the point or area that you can touch. But be careful of the knuckles. Sometimes the knuckles could end up over top of the sterile portion of the glove and we don't want that to occur. So be back away from that area. Supinate it with the dominant hand and go in. All right. Now in putting the glove on make sure that the glove is put on properly. So sometimes you don't need to be afraid to pull, pull firmly to get that glove on. Now there may be an issue with getting the fingers into every area of that glove and that should not be a problem with the whole process. So I'm going to pull and all of this here I can touch with my bare hand I don't want to touch this area here with my bare hand. Only this area here. So I want to pull firmly that glove. All right. Now, at this point, I want to be mindful that my bare hand cannot touch this and pull this down. So I have to get this down, still pulling from this region. So I have to just keep pulling and keep pulling until I get it there and it falls there and don't be afraid to pull on it. Once I have it there I can let it go. All right. Now the problem is my thumb is not in the thumb area but I cannot take my bare hand and put it on. I have contaminated. So I'll have to wait until this glove is on to actually fix it so that I can put the thumb inside the area. So I'll take my three fingers on the gloved hand and go inside the pocket, inside the pocket of the glove, and I can use that. Again, don't be afraid to pull firmly back. I'm going in again supinated into that glove. And all of this, even this part of the glove, is still sterile, even though it will actually touch my skin because my hand has not yet touch that area yet. All right. So I want to be as far away from where my hand could actually be close to this sterile part right here and go underneath inside. Don't be afraid to pull and get that glove on. Supinate it and pull if you have to. Try not to pull so you're close to your body because then you could contaminate yourself and we don't want to do that. We don't want this part of the glove touching the skin so be very careful with that. Pull back firmly, get the glove on as best you can. All right. Then sterile glove can touch sterile glove and we could fix at that point. One thing you don't want to do is if the glove is sitting here, all right, it's very dangerous to take this hand that's a sterile glove and try to fix this because you could possibly contaminate yourself here. If it's not, if it is a problem, leave it. 
we just need this part right here. We just need this part right here. All right. Now, the other concern is once we're ready to put the dressing on to the patient, for some reason, people love to touch this. And we should never do that. Once we have opened it, leave it be. And then we will walk around and grab the 4x4 and the gauze. But never touch this here because then you have contaminated yourself. So leave the packet open. Leave it be. Don't touch it. And go to the 4x4 and the gauze. That's how not to contaminate yourself when putting on the gloves.